everyone it's rachel welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another what i eat in a week finally i am so sorry that i have not been posting regularly lately and a lot of you guys might already know the reason for that but i did start medical school literally a month ago exactly my exams are coming up next week and rachie has been trying to time manage and edit and i seriously promise you guys there is not a day that goes by in medical school where i'm not like Oh my gosh like i really want to edit youtube is always on my mind not because i'm like obsessed with youtube itself but because i really do miss you guys i miss the community i just i don't know i'm like really really trying you guys just please be patient with me if you can and i will keep posting so obviously this is going to be a very different what i eat in a week because it's my first week of medical school just keep in mind that i will be eating out a little bit more than i usually do just because you know it's the first week and i'm like meeting new people and meeting up with my old friends and in all honesty you guys i was not planning on filming this intro right now it's literally like 11 p.m on a monday night i'm not wearing makeup i like feel like i don't really look presentable i'm like literally in my pajamas but honestly i just had to like throw that out the window i just want to sit down and remind both myself and you guys and a lot of my newer viewers what my channel is even about i just feel like i kind of haven't reiterated why i started my channel in the first place as you watch this video i hope you enjoy it i hope you have fun more than that i know a lot of you guys are here because because it helps you feel like you have food freedom. It shows you that you can have a cheat day every day, treat yourself every day, eat what you want at whatever time you want, just listen to your hunger levels and intuitively eat or mindfully eat. And if you're struggling with that, that I can be a friend for you, that I can create a safe space on this channel. You don't have to let people tell you what food rules there are. You can eat breakfast for dinner. You can eat that freaking yogurt bowl or oatmeal for lunch, dinner, breakfast. It really doesn't matter and at the end of the day i want you to do what's best for you what works for me might not work for you and don't let people judge you for your food choices if you are hungry and you just want to eat a lot that day then eat a lot and if you don't feel that hungry and you don't feel like eating a lot of food then don't eat a lot of food and my deepest deepest hope is that my channel never makes you feel judged never makes you feel like you have to eat a certain way to be healthy to live the best kind of life i am so excited for you guys to see my first week of medical school and all the stuff that i ate and without further ado, let's get into it. It is currently Saturday, July 24th. I'm just eating some mixed rice that my mom made this morning for me in my rice cooker. So I'm gonna need to start figuring out how to use that myself. But it's so good. It's literally better than all the rice that we make at home. I don't know what it is about this rice cooker. Rice and kim, perfect combination. The assembly people just came in, did my desk like a few hours ago. So I've been setting up my room. We ordered arugula pizza. A young shoot, all green. Unaware of the blade. <laughs> <laughs> I air fried the pizza and it looks actually so much better. It's like sizzling now. Wow, well, I'm a genius. Ow! <laughs> I'm transferring this to the box so we can eat it again. Thank you, Nancy. <laughs> you want to use a fork or something? You know, I could do that. <laughs> How they did this, like, behind the scenes is actually really interesting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> crust is bomb by the way so Massive. fluffy well we're in the middle of the movie clearly but nancy brought cucumbers as a housewarming gift so we're eating that with samjang how do you feel about the samjang so far it's new i'm haunted <laughs> i'm starting to like it's growing on me it's growing on you it's growing on okay okay Give another hour okay that's fine that's fine good morning it is sunday july 25th i think i am actually going to go to church today with my friends so i am going to eat a small little breakfast because i do not want my stomach to be growling in the middle of church when i don't know anybody yet i have some honey nut cheerios almond milk I also have a bunch of bananas right here, so I might stick one of these in, but for now I'm just gonna stick with this. I just have some soy sauce, two eggs, and some mixed rice that Oma left me last night. Sam's food is some leftover Maggiano's from her little <laughs> celebration. Hi. This is my beautiful friend Sam. We're just having a little food day after church. 
It is currently 6 p.m. on Sunday. I just finished some pita with hummus. I was in such a snacky mood that I forgot to turn on the camera and film. I'm just not used to this anymore because I haven't filmed like a full what I eat in a week in a while. As you know, I love bananas, peanut butter, cinnamon, and honey. If you watch my college vlogs and I eat this all the time because it's like my go-to easy snack. I love eating all the peanut butter off the spoon. <laughs> Mmm, banana is so sweet and creamy and like this peanut butter is delicious. It is like 6.50 in the morning. I am going to make some yogurt because I haven't had that in a while and that is a quick, healthy, easy breakfast. So Greek yogurt, peanut butter, blueberries, bananas, big spoon of peanut butter. There is the finished product. It looks pretty good to me. Mm, brings back memories of Penn State. I eat this all the time. I have to get to my first class by 8.45. So I just thawed some chicken breast last night, so I just cut it up and I am frying it with some salt, pepper, and oil. This does not look appetizing or pretty at all. I'm so sorry to my viewers who are here for the good food, but Rachie is not that good at cooking. I'm working on it, but I have some salad I stuck in the salad spinner after cutting it up, some chicken breast and rice. I'm just gonna eat this rice bowl with some salad because I haven't eaten any veggies, literally none, in the past few days. So this is for the health and I'm hungry, it tastes good. I can't lie, I did make the chicken a little too salty. I have more chicken, more salad over there in the kitchen. My plan is to save it for tomorrow because I have clinicals for four hours which I didn't have today, so I need to pack lunch tomorrow. If you guys have tips on how to make quick, easy meals for med school, please let me know down in the comments. Your girl is struggling a little bit, but it's okay. Let's turn on Netflix. It is 4 p.m. I just picked up some packages and I've been wasting time not doing any score for the past few hours. Salmon skin is like fatty and it has that like nice crispy texture and I just love salmon in general. Like perfectly salty. This one, I've also never tried this. It's called Casava Chip. It looks like flatter and it's like yellow. Mmm. Wait, what is this? I need to go look up what Casava is. This one, you can taste like all the herbs. It tastes like a potato chip. So, Nancy, would you like to explain what you brought? I brought milk. I don't know what else you want from this. <laughs> look at what it's in. She emptied a little water bottle. Oh, yeah. Is this da dairy milk? Uh, yeah, this is dairy milk. You can, but I thought you were lactose intolerant. I know. Soy, soy milk doesn't taste the same. You're right. <laughs> <laughs> but, 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 okay. For my dinner, I brought some kimchi and rice and some kim. Oh, I just brought pizza and this is broccoli. Oh, and I have a little cutie. She always has a cutie, so that's the signature Nancy. The reason for the milk because I'm gonna make Nancy try these spicy salmon skins and she can't handle spice. So. I can do it through willpower. Look at Deanne's beautiful quesadilla. So it is currently 11 p.m. I'm, I'm sorry. <laughs> just made some white rice this morning because I was soaking it last night. There it is. It's nice and steamy and honestly, it tastes pretty good. I tried it and my mom gave me this trick. Basically, the water should go up to half of this in-between part, like between this line and this line of your index finger. I just finished baking up these sweet potatoes. It's been like an hour and I just like put it on like the bake convection setting. So hopefully these are ready. They feel very squishy. 
ouch, 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 ouch. That was so hot. Oh my god, I think I just burnt my finger. Someone explain to me why these Japanese sweet potatoes are so nice. Like, the yellowness does not even show up on camera. It's like so dark and golden. Of course, I have to have my Trader Joe's Valencia peanut butter. I do not understand why the potatoes at home don't look like this. Maybe the Japanese sweet potatoes on the East Coast are better. Look at how good that turned out. Mm, that's so sweet and creamy. Mm, oh my god, I'm so happy right now. I need a blast, so I'm gonna try and finish this before I go. And then if not, I'll just save it for my lunch too. Here is my lunch. I just had my leftover chicken from yesterday, which I microwaved, my freshly cooked white rice, my leftover potato from this morning, and then some leftover lettuce. I'm so happy I get to eat now. And I have to get to one of the buildings by 12.45, so. Oh, hot. I'm just like ratchetly like ripping my lettuce and just putting it in. It's just the quickest way. It's potato time again. Mm, feels so good. Figured that now is a great time to have some salmon skin as a little snackaroo. It's actually so good. For dinner, I decided to catch up with one of my old friends from Penn State and it was so fun and the food was amazing. The nigiri and the spicy tuna roll that I ordered were some of the best sushi that I've ever had in my entire life. Like the fish quality was like amazing. I don't know how to go about doing this because I feel like if I kind of cut it, it would just like fall apart. So Andrew got this hamburger thingy. Tiffany, what did you get? I forgot what this is called already. You got the, it was like golden. Yeah, golden crunch or something. Yeah, yeah, something like that. These are so big. <laughs> That's pretty good. That looks humongous. Yeah. I'll okay, get Tiffany's bite. They're cuties. This is Tiffany. This is Andrew. You guys already know Andrew, but Tiffany's introduction to my channel. She's a beauty. Wait, hey, what is this? Did you remember what he said this was? This nigiru is probably one of the best that I've ever tried in my entire life just because the fish was so soft and buttery. But I think this place was called Bubblefish. If you're ever in the area, then you should definitely try it because I do think it's a really highly rated sushi place in Philadelphia. I just brought this back. I got an iced almond milk latte. It's pretty good. And they give you quite a lot for how much I paid, like maybe $5. Alrighty, I'm really not even that hungry. It's like 8.30 and I have to go in like 15 minutes. But I still have some Cheerios and my banana because first of all, my bananas are going to get way too ripe very soon and Rachel's not going to want to eat them anymore. So it's time to eat them now. I don't think I'm going to get time until like probably 2 p.m. to eat lunch, so... I'll be hungry soon. I got back from class like 20 minutes ago and I have been soaking these cherries because my mom told me that that's the best way to wash them. I don't know if that's true, but I trust my mom. I realized that my mom stocked my kitchen with way too much fruit, so thank you mom because she knows I love fruit, but Rachel you gotta eat this or else it's gonna rot. I'm just trying to finish up the notes that I didn't finish this morning because I'm still behind. Y'all, if you are thinking about going to medicine, it's only the first week, but I can tell med school is really no joke. I'm sure you already knew that though. I finally got back to my room. It is 2.20 p.m. and now I just drank some water and it's time to cook some lunch. I have some white rice I cooked the other day, some chicken, green onions, kimchi, and I wonder what I could be making. So I'm just gonna put some chopped up kimchi in here. I have a lot. Time to add in my rice. This is an absolute essential. Sesame oil can save it, if nothing else. All right, this is what it looks like. It's time for me to taste. Definitely need some sugar and salt. Look at how much rice I made. There's like a huge pile. Here's my finished kimchi fried rice. It is fried up in egg. Some sesame seeds and green onions on top. Did it even pop? I'm finally eating lunch at 3 p.m. I took like so long to make that food. Mm. I put lots of green onions because that's what I like. Obviously you don't have to. Y'all know how to make kimchi fried rice. It's literally so easy. I have chicken, but I didn't end up using it. I might use it for dinner. Salted roasted seaweed with kimchi fried rice is an absolute must. Mm. Got a hamburger with all the stuff minus cheese. Ooh, that looks yummy. You got cheese? You said that you got 
I'm less lactose intolerant than you are. I can see that. Hello, Deanne. What did you get today? I got basically the same thing as Rachel, but mine has cheese, so it's better. That's fact. She also got crinkle cut fries, which are a must here, but I'm not hungry, so. Actually, this is Deanne's first time. Mm -hmm. And Nancy's. Oh, yeah. How do you feel about it? It tastes like a hamburger. You know, I think this would be better with cheese. Like, honestly, with In N Out, I can get the hamburger with like no cheese, but then I get the animal fries with okay. cheese all over it. Tastes like a hamburger. <laughs> well, out of ten. Um, maybe like an eight. Eight? Or a seven? I don't know. That's that's too that's high. A lot. Six and a half. Six and a half. <laughs> and what would you say In N Out is? Probably an eight. Me too. In N Out is straight up like for me a ten out of ten. Okay. This is also a six and a half. Honestly, without the cheese, probably a six. They didn't have it here, but if you get the shroom burger, that's like a freaking nine out of 10. I just woke up and I am snacking on some grapes. I believe it's like 7.10 in the morning. It is 7.41 in the morning on Thursday. Today is the day of my presentation for my small group. I'm a little bit nervous, honestly, and I have to leave for an 8 a.m. lab class. I gotta eat these Cheerios quickly. Honestly, I did not finish reviewing my slides. The girls are just gonna have to kind of wing it. Lunch time. I just have my microwave kimchi fried rice I made yesterday. I pan fried some chicken with salt and pepper again, sesame seeds, green onion. There we have my perilla oil roasted seaweed. I actually got back to my apartment like 20, 30 minutes ago. Our CBL, like case based learning session, ended a little bit late. So I'm finally eating lunch. It's 12 30. I just microwaved my kimchi fried rice from yesterday. I have the rest of my stuff, some chicken I added on top. Instead of an egg today, I wanted to switch up the protein. Mm. You know the thing about kimchi fried rice? It always tastes better the next day for some reason. I don't know what it is about it. It is about 2.40 p.m. I just got done with the Zoom lectures that I had. I literally have another lecture in person actually at 3. So I need to leave, but I just realized I think I cut the orange the wrong way. Like this is not how you're supposed to slice it. Mmm. Oh my god. This orange is so sweet. So I'm gonna try and eat this whole orange really quickly and then head to class. If I had more time, I would be getting coffee right now. I was literally dying during the Zoom lecture, I'm not gonna lie. Our cameras had to be on and I literally went like this. Like literally two or three times in the middle of the lecture. It was really embarrassing, but I really highly doubt anybody was looking at me. See how I caught this? For some reason, I actually was exhausted and I could not make it through the rest of the day without some coffee. So I think I got an oat milk latte and then for dinner, I picked up Jimmy John's. It is 6.35 PM. We're in the library trying to study for a quiz tomorrow. Deanna and I picked up Jimmy John's because it's quick and easy. The lady was actually so nice and she gave us these reduced fat, regular thinny chips for free because she said that she made us wait, which she really did not and she was the only person working there so i felt pretty bad oh my god wait this is huge i just got the turkey sub i don't know if you can see that inside but the cross section has like cucumbers tomatoes pickles mustard mayo turkey lettuce mm, spread is very firm very interesting What's happening right now is I am in the middle of studying a little bit and I just want to distract myself a bit. So I'm just gonna go bake some sweet potatoes. There are my little babies. They're so cute. Okay, it's on 350. Then I'm just gonna turn it up to an hour. I am actually so exhausted, but it is six in the morning, 6.01 a.m. I have a couple more hours to study, so that's good at least. Some way, somehow, my peanut butter kind of like froze up even though it was in the fridge. I don't really know why. It's fine because it'll melt on top of the hot potatoes. They're so yellow. Because of this lighting, you can't really see, but like, look at how nice that is. Look at the back of that. Not me eating Japanese sweet potatoes at six in the morning to distract me from the pain of studying. To be like that sometimes. Treat yourself with some food. That's what I say. The back of this one. And y'all know, Koguma plus peanut butter is life. 
Hey y'all, it is 12 p.m. I just got back to my room literally right now and the first order of business was getting food because Richie kind of hungry. I think mostly it's because I ate breakfast at six in the morning and it's been six hours since then. I have my wonderful Cheerios. Mmm, so good. Okay, the reason why I'm actually eating this though is because it's quick and easy and I do have something at one. Yay! I got through my first ever quiz of med school. I'm very proud of myself. A lot of people might have thought, you know, that quiz was easy or easier than they thought it was. Honestly, it wasn't terrible, but I didn't do amazing. I didn't think I would, but I studied as hard as I possibly could have given the circumstances and I passed. What matters is God got me through it. I got through it. I'm happy. I'm done for the week. I also have a bag of peeled and roasted chestnuts. These are just a really easy snack. Mmm, look at that. So I was actually going to work out because I had a lot of time after the class ended around 2 But I was dead tired, I'm gonna be honest I just passed out of my bed until like 5.45 and now it's 6.30 and I have to meet my friends for dinner actually at Hot Pot I'm a bit nervous, my stomach actually feels really inflamed Because I've been eating out so much and eating things that my tummy is not really agreeable with Wow. Say hi, Adam and Josh. <laughs> Say hi. I just put everything that looks spicy. See, I'll tell you, I'll that's the opposite of what I'm gonna do. I'll put the cilantro. Thank you, <laughs> Tiffany. You're the best, girly. <laughs> <laughs> Would you like to take a bite? Oh, this is so hot. I think the meat tastes so good. I need the rice. I need the rice. I like the mushroom base. I, I was waiting for you to take a bite. Adam, take a bite on camera. Mm. <laughs> you gotta go. Back in the day. Back in the day. Right now. Eating who knows how. Wait. How do you hear any? Wait, they're playing, they're playing teardrop by us. They're playing so bad. They're Look at her face. They're playing teardrop by I've never seen somebody get so excited about oh no, no, no. You guys should stand us up nine. I got the cheese the peach oolong tea with pudding. And people say that's weird, but I think I should try it anyway. No, you have to try it. Oh, wait, oh, oh, wait. What was this for? Oh, no. Okay. <laughs> no, it's supposed oh, to go in this one. It's this one. <laughs> Yes, okay. yes. Okay. Okay, I want to try the cheese one. Yeah, right. Oh really right. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Yeah, but the That's cheese, good. Uh -oh. cheese are, you, are you gaslighting yourself right <laughs> <laughs> Just don't mix it. <laughs> yeah, you got some. It's pudding, so that makes sense. They're playing Moonshot by- No, they're playing and flying Moonshot. On Saturday, I met my friend for brunch and we shared the steak eggs benedict and then this creme brulee french toast. And first of all, I've never tried anything remotely related to those flavors, but the quality and the portion size was so good for the price. <laughs> That's really good. What is this cream? Is this a... Oh! It's like um, a fancier whipped cream. I wonder if it's like hand whipped cream. No, I think it is. Like it seems like they made it here. Yeah, like the consistency isn't very smooth. Yeah, it's, it's nice. That's what it looks like. Oh, Christian, you want to take a bite of something? <laughs> Out of 10, how would you rate the Benedict? I guess it depends. Like an eight. Okay. I feel that. I'll make you try a bite of this. Oh yeah. The sauce is nice. <laughs> like I get, I'd say like this is also like an eight. An eight? Okay. Seven-ish maybe. <laughs> Overall, I would probably agree with Christian and rate it like an 8 out of 10. I still need to go back for that French toast because it was actually so, so good. Is this potato? Okay, so there's my patsy with beef. Nancy, would you like to take a bite of your food? <laughs> it's 
good, right? Yeah. Yay, you made it to the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for getting all the way to the end. The beef pad CU that I ate that night was actually so good, by the way. And before I end the video, I actually want to remind you guys to follow me on Instagram at Kim because I actually post a lot more often on Instagram because as you guys might know, it's a lot easier and quicker for me. So if you are ever curious about like what I do when I'm not on YouTube and you know, I'm just busy being a med student, then definitely go follow me over there. I also have a foodie Instagram at food. I also have a TikTok talk at Rachie's Kim, same as my Instagram handle where I make like shorter what I eat in a day. So if you guys are ever starving for content, then I have more over there. I also post Instagram reels occasionally too. So yeah, thank you guys so much for getting to the end of this video. And as always, I love you guys and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.